Uh, position on Jammu and Kashmir uh, vis a vis the role of uh, bilateral way to solve it and how we see the UN's role or the, rather the lack of it is pretty clear. I think uh, suffice to say that uh, we believe um, that this is an issue that has to be bilaterally resolved and we do not see external interference in this as a as helpful or uh, you know we find a solution on this. position on Jammu and Kashmir vis-a-vis uh, -vis the role of uh, bilateral way to solve it and how we see the UN's role or the, rather the lack of it is pretty clear. I think uh, suffice to say that uh, we believe um, that this is an issue that has to be bilaterally resolved and we do not see external interference in this as, a, as helpful or uh, you know we find a solution on this. The foundation of uh, the United Nations is that human rights are indivisible. And this counts uh, for every region in the world. This also counts uh, for Kashmir. This uh, counts for women's rights. This counts uh, for minority rights and also religious uh, rights. And therefore, we support uh, the work of the United Nations, also with the situation in Kashmir, to ensure that all the human rights are being guaranteed within the different bodies of the United uh, Nations. We are not part of the Security Council, um, as you know, but within the work also of the Human Rights Commission and uh, of the Special Envoy. And we believe that a constructive approach from both sides and confident building measures are the only way forward to improve the relationships between Pakistan and India. The bilateral agreement to implement the ceasefire along the line of control last year was a positive step. We also discussed it in our talks uh, earlier on. We believe that more steps should uh, follow this line, and I think it's really a strength of different governments if there's a provocation that one doesn't react but really stands to its own and the international principles.